Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Harish, and in this channel, I talk about various tools using which you can build pretty much anything from a website to a chatbot or a mobile application or even automations. And in this one, we are going to uh, look at how to create instant payment links to collect payments from your users without them having to go to a website or adding you as a beneficiary in their bank account or any other jazz like that. If you haven't checked out my previous video using Razorpay or Instamojo, which are specific to Indian companies where individuals or companies in India can collect payments online from their customers in any currency pretty much. And this video is going to focus on Stripe payment links. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, accepting payments has become so easy that you don't have to build a website or store anymore. The iCard above will have the links to my previous video where uh, I've talked about how we can follow a similar process using Razorpay or Instamojo. Stripe uh, payment links is the tool that we are going to check out today. And Stripe is one of the industry leading uh, companies that allows people to create uh, portals or links or be able to send invoices online without having to worry about uh, creating an online store or anything like that. Just a simple payment link can be shared with your customers on any social channel and they can just click on it and pay whatever they have to pay, right? So let's assume that you have created a video course or you have a PDF that you want to sell to your customers, right? Now let's look at the platform as to how you can build a payment link and share this payment link with that customer, right? So once you have an account, this whole process assumes that you already have an existing account on Stripe. So this is the dashboard that you will get once you create an account. And uh, for an Indian company, I've just noticed that it's about a 12 step process and takes about 10 minutes to finish the whole process. So this is what you'll see. And you will notice that there is a share a payment link uh, option here, which you can just click start on and get started with the process. So it says start selling fast, no code required, obviously. That's what this channel is all about. So this says you can add multiple products. So let's just add a Zoom webinar on no code. Right, let's just add this as a new product that I want to sell. Once you click that, you'll be able to add a description to the product and the price that you want to sell this at. Let's say I just want to sell it at 100 rupees. You can also add the description as to why you are collecting 100 rupees or anything relevant to the price here. And you can also upload a image. Let's say you are doing a video course, you could upload a poster that you have. If you are trying to sell an ebook, you can also upload the front page copy or the design of the ebook. And if you are, let's say, selling any product or a physical product, you can also upload the images of the physical product. Once you are done doing that, these two are mandatory, of course, like the name and price. Others are optional. You can click on add product and this gets added to the link. You can add multiple products to it if you want. And you can also allow promotion code. So let's say you want to create a coupon code at the back end. You can also allow promotion code so that people will be able to enter the promo code and get the discount that you want them to get, right? On the right side, you can always see the preview of all the changes that you make. Let's say you want customer to be able to select multiple copies. Let's say you're selling a physical product. If you want the customer to buy multiple items, you can also enable this option, which says let customers adjust quantity. Right. And if you want to collect customers billing address and shipping address or shipping address, you can also enable these two options. Right. On the right, you can see the customer has to enter a billing address and then he'll get an option saying is the same as your shipping address. If it is different, they can also ship at different addresses. And as you can see, if you enable shipping address, it will ask you which countries you sell to. So in this case, I'll just remove all of these for the example. But those are the options. Now let's move on to the confirmation page. Confirmation page is the page that the customer will see after a successful payment done on the page, right? So you can also customize the message. How do you know what message exists as default is you go to confirmation page tab and you can see it just says thank you for payment, right? Now you can actually replace the default custom message saying we will send you tracking ID in 24 hours or any relevant thank you message that you want to show and you can see on the right that this gets updated automatically so this can stay as is and the other option is also to disable this whole page and send the customer to a website let's say you are running a webinar right now the webinar is running on zoom and you are collecting payments on the payment gateway which is stripe payment links right now if you want the customers to sign up 
after successful payment completion you can also enable this option and enter the url of the zoom webinar directly so that they go and sign up directly on zoom once the payment is done of course here now in another video in the future sometime i'll talk about how you can automate this whole process where once the payment is done through stripe or any other gateway that you have you can also automate the zoom sign up process and not have your user go enter details again in zoom webinar link but automate the whole thing using zapier i'll get to that in another video but for this one let's just stick to show confirmation page and i'll just leave the defaults as is and now with this i think we are ready with the link now you can just say create link and you will get a link that you can share with your users or customers on any platform be it a facebook uh, group or a messenger or or a whatsapp group or a telegram group wherever your customer is you can share this link directly and as you can see it says the same thing and you can also get customized updates whenever you get a payment done through this now as i mentioned before you can also automate multiple tasks like you can create a google sheet where you want to track all the payments so that you know how many customers you have and if you want to limit it you can do so on google sheets and you can automate that using zapier uh, i'll definitely make a video on that don't worry but yes so what is the link this is the link you can just click on this button and the link is now ready let's just see what the link looks like this is your unique link to collect payments for this specific product that you created you can add multiple products you can see the product shows up on the left there is email card details name on the card and country and uh, yes that's how simple it is now customers can simply pay for what you're selling right from here and if you want to edit any of the information on this specific link what you can do is go to the product that you just created and on the right you will be able to find edit now you can edit all the product details here and you can also create multiple links with different prices right let's say you have a early bird price that you're offering for the first week and then you have a different price for customers coming back later on you can add multiple prices here and create different links and if you also want to track where the customers are coming from now let's say you created a link today and you want to track or share this link only on twitter right if you want to track how many people are coming from twitter you can also add metadata here and uh, which is basically k value pairs and find out right if and if you want to create multiple links for different platforms you can also do so there is no limit on how many uh, links you can create so feel free to go ahead and do that and uh, since my account is in testing uh, you will see that this is test data and viewing test data but once your account is approved and you have an account uh, you won't be able to see this all links are production ready right so that's how you create a payment link and collect payments from your customers directly without having to build a store or a website or running around developers finding bugs so on and so forth no jazz required just put your product put the details of the product that you're wanting to sell and put the price that's it start collecting money from your customers and sell them products don't don't waste too much time on this if you like the content of the video drop a like below and if you know somebody who's trying to find developers and running around people asking them to build stuff send them here because this channel is all about building stuff with no code with that we come to the end of this video see you in the next one peace